Hello everyone, I'm Cobra Guru. Welcome once again, Index. So I've decided to make a new series of videos of decks because today I'm playing the enhanced version. And also because I like a lot this very good, good game. I made already a video on decks last year. The devs have been very great, listening to the wish of the community translating the game in other languages and improving it. So, let's begin. So you can see that we can play it on keyboard and mouse or using a joypad. I was using a mix but with the, the biggest part on the joypad. So I will stick on it. So as my recording was made in French, the text of the game is in French, but the voices are in English. And as it's a new install, I will start a new game, and it will show you a little bit the universe. I really like the universe. It's cyberpunk. I don't want to spoil too much the story as it deserves to discover it. And I will let the cinematic. She reminds me of someone else. What, what do you think? A river of what to do's, who to be's. Stand out, blend in, help them, go to war and win. Close your eyes, little bird. Tomorrow's a new world, little bird. She looks like a little bit Motoko in Ghost in the Shell, eh? You, you got that. Buy yourself some time. Here. Now focus. This is augmented reality. Your way to interact with the world around you. So, Raycast will give a hand to help and explain a little bit the basics from time to time. So. How to hack it? I don't remember lol. Mm. Ah, finally. Need to press Y key on joypad. Okay, unit, use the stairs. You have a natural dispensation for this. So it's a platform game, eh? Got it, eh? It's an old style uh, 2D side scrolling. Tell him Raycast sent you. Now run. Mm, how to open? Yeah, okay. And what else? I'm sorry, I need a little bit of time to recover all the command of the character. Okay. So, jump. It's A key. Roll. It's right stick on right or left. Moving right and left with left stick. Look up. Interact up with left stick and crouch with left stick down. Simple for that. We fight with X key. So we need to go down. So we need to go down, it's not what I wanted to do. I thought we could go down using the ladder. I will verify, it's strange. Mm, okay. So when you can enter in a building, you have this yellow, orange arrow or triangle showing the way and you press Y to enter, to do an action. You can crouch and move, open doors, and especially you have to search all areas to loot items, to open highlighted boxes, etc, etc, 
everywhere. You really need to search everything to recover weapons, sometimes ammunition, etc. etc. Our first fight. So for now she fight only with fists. We'll be able later with skill points to upgrade the way she fight with new techniques, new moves, etc. Up left you can see the life bar and the concentration one. Those green box on the wall are medikit to refill your HP in case you are low, as I am full HP I don't need. So we enter in another area here. Better to search everywhere, as sometimes in area where you wouldn't have think about there could be something interesting to gather or recover. Okay, let's try. Big jump, hula! Another important thing, save often. Regularly, as you may die often, or make bad choice that will provoke big trouble. So, we don't have weapon at the moment. <laughs> look, look at the drop, Bond CD. Okay, I forgot it about the parry, using right trigger, okay, okay. Okay, I will not say that the game shouldn't be in young hands, but, well, it's Piggy 16, huh? So, the developers, Dreadlocks, it's an indie game. I let everything as it deserve it, because I really like the universe. The story is complex, lots of things to do. The game is not really long, but in the end, several chapters, plenty of side quests, And if I like this game a lot, it's because also I'm a huge fan of Ghost in the Shell universe and that this game is something similar, like from the same seed sorts of. I would have preferred Ghost in the Shell Online to be something more like Dex than what it is actually. So, can use a medikit here also. Whoa! I level up! Okay, let's check. So first, the inventory. Uh, you see, I don't have much things at the moment. Oh, a data disk that had some experience. Nice! I will use it. Here, yeah, the pawn CD and t-shirt are in the trash part of the inventory, so to be sold for cash at the shop later. So, now character sheet. It's a RPG eh, with skill points, leveling, etc. So we can put points in stamina. Hand fighting, weapons, firearms. Later, you can have hacking, lockpicking, charisma and negotiation. Never easy to choose the first one. But I prefer to put my first point into lockpicking. The only issue is that the first leveling of each skill needs only one point. Then you will need to unlock a new level 2 skill points and for the last 3 skill points. That means if you want to maximize weapons, firearms, you will need in total 10 skills points, a lot of XP and leveling to get there. One. 2, 3, 5, 7, 10. So, lots of XP. Quest list, journal and tutorial. Ah, 
Ah, found it. I knew it that we could use the ladder down and not jump all the time. So when you are on the edge, you put the left stick down and you press Y, which is a use action. So we search and find energy cola and beer. Let's look what it does. I'm not sure that what there is in this can is coming from Hopfield. <laughs> restore 10 HP and the cola restore 30 HP. In the basic version of the game, as this one is the enhanced one, there was the opportunity to play using both joypad and keyboard. And it seems that not in this one, which is less good in my opinion. As I was using keyboard and mouse for the fighting area, for the targeting, as I found it much better than using the joypad and I was using the joypad for the exploration part using the right stick to roll because it's really easy you see look at that right stick uh, I'm not good to use double sticks to target I'm a FPS player so using mouse and keyboard well let's try like this Charge by it is really easy to move, but not for targeting. Okay, so don't be surprised, it will break and she will fall. Maybe I could try to, to jump. I've never attempted actually. It's part of the well, game. Looky at you. What okay, so I will let you read the dialogues and decide which answers you will world. use. Sometimes a different answer can have a different impact, but not at this time. So, I need to go to fix us hope, please help me, blah blah blah. In any case, in the end, we will fight. Ah, often. Chit chat, lots of chit chat. Okay. Wow, so they hit strong, eh? And I have only basics attack, eh? Because I haven't put a point in melee fighting. Protect yourself using parry. As the combat is quite a little bit difficult when you start uh, with those uh, guys that are... You can see they are strong, they hit strong, they have stamina. there is a good point. We can open inventory and freeze time at this moment. Unlike this, you can recover ring using pills or drinks to refill your HP. You see I took lots of damage, lose a lot of HP already. She's not so tough, but actually I should have moved more, avoiding her attacks with her weapon. to think always to remember to use parry. Okay. Uh, ah, so there is another one here. I will go on the other side to check first what there is. I will need to go on the left side. Um, Ah, so remember, open all closet, eh? everything, eh? to loot item, because I will also go up to refill my HP with the medikit. Uh, huh? As you can see, I can't enter this room, as it needs lock picking level 2, which means 2 more level to have enough skills spawned, and we are only in the starting place. I will I have never understand how why they put a level 2 door there. Well, we'll need to come back later. So 
So, there are hidden places, like this highlighted in blue. When you come close to one, press Y and hop, hide. I'm back here, but the medikit is already empty. <laughs> I found toilet paper. When you're on the edge, like this, you can jump down, or let you fall down. But it could lead to high jump and lose HP. I prefer not to. Okay, so I will go out from here, as I don't have weapons. I lost uh, lots of HP. I want to show you a little bit more outside also. I was hoping to finally show you out of the sewers, but there is an area with some kind of interaction, sometimes puzzles, to be done in order to advance. What I mean is that in several places there will be interaction to be done, and sometimes some puzzle. So this, this, at this moment it's easy, eh? you just uh, close the... Uh, the valve. So as there are often enemies in the sewers, I'm trying to be cautious. And now we need to cross, but how? So Again, hop and hop as you get it. It's a platform game, eh? Okay, let's loot stuff once again. I this see guy is a funny one. You. I see you out, out of here, to there. Good. You die, I stay. No, fixers hope. Hmm, heard of that place. Actually, I yeah. believe he's even crazy and a little bit, but well. You can ask door, him question on how to open the door to get there, out. We'll send you down to those there sewers. Take long doubt the lock is hard to pick. You could, but you, my friend. Hear that? Lizard's tail at will. She'll be replaced. Probably already is. Lizard's tail. Gangs like that? No way. There's only you one can even ask him the key, yeah? Block their path. But he will give it only bad? with quest to do. I will refill my HP with the drinks. Uh, close to get level 3. So where are the quest? He gave us C4 to explode the bridge. Oh, zut, a medikit. I shouldn't have spent my drinks too late. So exploration, loot everything. Ah, another thing. When you're in this situation, you can't go down on the stairs. I don't know if it's a bug or what. You just need to crouch and press A to jump down. I will go up. Because I've seen this box from downstairs. Always open and search everything. Always. So, in fact... Will I be able to show you the exit? So, what's going up? In fact, I made the right choice by setting my first skill point in lockpicking instead of fighting. Why? <laughs> because I can bypass the quest he gave me by simply picking the lock of the door and leaving to fix his hope. It's great. And I am outside. Thank you for watching this first part of my video on Dex. Have fun, play a lot, and see ya in the second part. Bye bye.